back to cooking with Sarah. Uh, I said last episode that in this episode I would be showing you how to make some early foods that will get you through the beginning of the game. And I thought maybe it would be best if for the authentic survival experience we go back to where it all began. This is my noob cave. This is where I spent about a week in game. Huddled up trying not to starve to death. Let me go ahead and get my hot bar back. Oops. There we go. And while I'm thinking about it, let me get out of creative. There we go. This is, this was my home for about a week in game. Now, why did I stay in a noob cave for so long? Well, because in this mod pack, you have hunger overhaul. Um, not only do you get hunger, hungry faster, Vanilla foods do not restore nearly as much hunger, so if you do not get your food situation sorted out before you do anything else in this mod pack, you're going to have a bad time because you're going to starve to death all the time. I, you'll see on um, the subreddit, the Feed the Beast subreddit and stuff, people will try Magic Farm out and they'll go, well, I didn't like it because it's so grindy in the beginning and I, I couldn't get anything done because I was hungry all the time. Well... That's because you did not take the time to get your food situation sorted. So what do you need to do to get your food situation sorted out? Okay, the first thing obviously you're going to need is a body of water. Without it, you're not going to be able to plant a damn thing because at this point in the game, you're not going to be able to get a bucket unless you happen to find one in a Thomcraft loot chest or something because you're not going to be able to produce vanilla iron. So, you're going to need to hang around a body of water, make yourself a hoe, till every bit of land you can along its edge. But how do you get seeds to plant in it? Well, same way you get wheat seeds and vanilla. You punch grass. And not only do you get wheat seeds like this, you get, let's see if I can get some to come out, all kinds of cool seeds. Oh, there's XP. There is something. Peas. Okay, we got peas. And you take them seeds. And you plant them just like anything else. Now, this being 1.5, bone meal will not instantly grow them to full. It will make them grow faster, but you'll have to use a few bone meals to get stuff full. In addition, torchlight does not make your plants grow. They have to be exposed to sunlight. No more underground farms. And just fair warning, when you go to harvest something, you need to right click it. Do not left click. If you left click, you will destroy the plant. You may or may not get your seed back. Either way, that's valuable growing time that you've wasted. Oh, hello there, Brother Francis. How are you doing today? Now, that brings me to the second possible way of getting seeds and produce. Um, if you are lucky enough to spawn next to a village, which I was, um, actually, right about here, is where spawn was. Number one, sometimes if you see a villager in green robes, he will trade you stuff, uh, fruit tree saplings, for emeralds. I have no emeralds right now. I will come back and talk to him later. But when you find a village, number one, it will have a vineyard or possibly hops growing out there. Grapes you can make into wine, and I'll get into that later. You can also just eat them right out of your hand. There's something coming after me. Okay. But, villages will also have full gardens like this, full of all the neat stuff that you can get. Once again, right click them to harvest. If you can live near a village, it will keep you fed. Let's get some lettuce too. And let's see, do I have any other vegetables? I've got lettuce, I've got cantaloupe, uh, I've got some garlic, I've got some pineapple. That's not going to do me a lot of good. Some more lettuce. What do we got over here? Oh, here we go. Zucchini. I think I can do something good with that. So, you've got to get your farm sorted out. And if you can spare the seeds and spare the wheat and there's livestock around, go ahead and pen them in. And this wolf is eyeing my chickens here. Uh, meat will not restore as much hunger as it does in vanilla, but it will restore hunger still. And that's a good thing to have. If you get a hold of string, make a fishing rod. 
If you can get a hold of a lot of string, or there's sheep around, and by the way, sheep do drop mutton in this mod pack, you can make a fish net. Oh, and that one's already got some fish in it. Good. I can make some fish sticks, and I'll show you that in a minute. A fish net is pretty simple to make. Let me just go ahead and show you an NEI here. It's three wool on the top, three wool on the bottom, plank on each side. And you just park it in some water. And you want to try to get it to where it's got water on as many sides as possible. The more water you have touching it, the more fish will go into it. Now, as I said in the previous episode, you have to make a certain set of bakeware or cookware to get you started. The first thing you want to make, of course, is the juicer. If you just now you notice my hunger is already down to four points. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and eat one of these blueberries. That didn't do hardly anything. A burp. <laughs> but if you take that blueberry and run it through the juicer, you get blueberry juice. Whoops, throw the juicer on the floor. Which restores a little bit more hunger. So let's put that away for now. Let's put that seed away. Um, when you harvest things, sometimes it will spit out extra seeds. Keep them if you can. You'll want to take them with you when you move. But if you run out of room, you know, and you run out of places to plant them, don't worry about it too much. Okay. The next thing you'll want to do, if you can, you'd like you want to have both wheat and rice growing if you can. Rice has to be planted in water. Yeah, but you just you know right click it just like you do an anther crop. Oops, there we go. Throw that out there. Now why do you want to have both? Well, because uh, excuse me, Brother Francis, um, that's that's my cave. Oh, fine. Anyway, if you can, you want to have both because you can use your rice to make flour and then use your wheat to attract and feed livestock. Brother Francis, can I, can I help you? Yeah, that's, that's the lava pool. This is a volcano. And what you do to make flour is, and I've already got some up there, take your mortar and pestle, put it in your 2x2, two two, put in rice or wheat, and you will get flour. Now, what you can do with flour and fish... Where's my fish? There's my fish. Get your bakeware. Take your bakeware. Put in your flour. Put in your fish. You get fish sticks. And fish sticks are a great early food if you can get you know, the flour and things to... Uh, Alright, see you later, Brother Francis. And let's go ahead and just put this pineapple away. This lettuce seed away. Keep the zucchini for now, because there's something else I want to show you with that. If you can get a hold of iron, what you want to do is make a cutting board. The cutting board and the mixing bowl will allow you to make some salads. And I think the zucchini will work with this. Yes, it will. You get a spring salad, which is another light meal along the lines of fish sticks. And these are things that will keep you fed for a while. Finally, of course, I showed you this sort of in the previous episode, but if you take your cutting board, you kill some zombies, you get rotten flesh, you mine up some salt. My chest is getting to be a mess. Get your cutting board, get your salt, get your dead zombie meat, and that makes zombie jerky. And that's actually, believe it or not, one of the more nutritious foods in the early game don't think too much about where it came from. Oh, speak of the devil. Excuse me. Um, excuse me, Brother, Brother Francis. Can, can you please move? Push him out of the way. There we go. Let's deal with him. Okay. Oh, dropped a head. For some reason, I get a lot of heads in this game. Um, or in this mod pack. I don't know why. I'm not complaining. And that is going to be pretty much it for your early foods. Um... If you like to check, I, obviously there's more than that that you can make, but um, fortunately you have NEI. If you'd like to see what all you can make with either a piece of cookware, you just shift R over it, 
and do, 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 it will show you the different things that you can make so you can see if you have the ingredients or not. If you get a hold of a potato, you can make fries. There's your stuffed mushrooms. Yeah, you know, all that stuff. Or if you have an ingredient and you don't know what you can do with it, same thing. Shift R will show you do, 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 all the recipes that you can make with it. It's your own personal portable cookbook. And that, my friends, is going to keep you fed and happy until you are able to get some iron and get some better quality cookware. So, I will show you some of that next time. Until then, thank you for watching. On behalf of Brother Francis here, I uh, wish you bon appetit and have a good night, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.